Sometimes life causes you to take drastic measures. Take the story of Steve Richardson. Born out of necessity after he lost his job, he taught himself how to design and cut wooden jigsaw puzzles. Putting the pieces of his business together has meant finding new, ingenious, and sometimes devilish ways to keep his fans guessing. Here's a whammy edge. They fit side by side. Man, do we get some nasty phone calls about that. It drives them nuts. Customer complaints usually mean business is good for Steve Richardson. <laughs> they pay me to drive them crazy. He's the self-proclaimed tormentor in chief at Stave Puzzles in northeastern Vermont. I can easily design a puzzle that they can't do. Well, uh, they won't buy anymore, so I can't totally crush them. Stave is Steve and Dave. Dave Tibbetts. They began designing games and puzzles after both were laid off by a computer programmer in 1969. For five years, they struggled until one phone call changed things. When we got the call from this wealthy Bostonian said, these guys are out of business, I need a fancy wooden puzzle. Richardson didn't know how to cut wood, but he knew an opportunity when he saw one. They took out an ad in the New Yorker magazine and got lucky, very lucky. The very first customer from that ad averaged $50,000 a year with us for 20 years. Bingo. We hit the lottery. Richardson Just bought his partner out for all of $1 a few years later. They're still good friends, and Richardson is still keeping his customers, well, puzzled. All right, color line cut. That also drives him nuts. By the 1980s, he became known for his trick puzzles. Instead of getting a right angle piece to work with in the puzzle, we split it like that. So there's a fake corner right there. And we only did that, we got bored, and the customer was getting bored. It's like the fox and the hound. So we, we just have to keep one step ahead of him. Staying ahead of stave puzzlers is no easy trick. Among them, the Gates family, the Bush family, and the Royal family. Mrs. Bush was our courier. We got a very nice note back from the Queen who appreciated it. Designing, painting, and cutting is labor intensive. No two puzzles are the same. It can take a year, sometimes even more, to train the master woodcutters. We sell about roughly 3,600 puzzles a year. Not bad when they go for anywhere from $750 to $7,500 a puzzle, sometimes even more. In the last set that it went for, it, $20,000. 100 sets of a $20,000 puzzle, that's like, whoa. Back in the day, Richardson couldn't pay to print pictures on the box. Now, he jokes with a bit of a smirk, that would be too much of a hint for his victims or customers. Instead, the box features the Stave logo, the clown, and each puzzle has one clown piece. David came up with that. I thought it was brilliant. We're in the entertainment business. We are the court jesters in, in people's lives. But sometimes that clown has been a wild card, a joker, bending the minds of puzzlers everywhere. I'm thinking they'll figure it out. It's going to be obvious, but they didn't. We got hammered. So then we put a little sign under the clown that says, sometimes I just don't fit in. Back in 1999, that $20,000 set of five puzzles was selling for a mere $14,500. That was good enough to put it in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most expensive jigsaw puzzle.